I don't know why it is the picture of Luigi's Mansion. I don't know why it is the picture of Luigi's Mansion. Why am I hearing double? Why? <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, okay. I was so confused. I stepped away to eat cereal. Well, Kelly, get your head in the fucking game. How does that sound? How does that sound, Kelly? Nah, I'm just kidding. Kelly, welcome back. Wait. Am I on a? I'm on a full screen, right? I'm not on. I'm not on. I'm. I'm not on a mobile stream. I can turn the lights off. Camera off. Turn the camera off. Yeah. Wait, am I on? I'm on mobile. Oh, I'm on full. Okay. Hi from train. What up, Meowie? Like train, like that band. All right, there we go. But hope everybody's having a nice day. We do have room for a fourth if anybody wants to join. So far, it's me, Jed, and Deck Pop. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna ready. Watch this. I'm gonna spam inviter. And Eve wants to join. I already, I already miss him. I miss him already. We'll do uh, we'll do solos until if until somebody decides if they want to join for a fourth solos chill. Dude, they don't know me like that, man. Having um, imagine having an effective rail system. I literally can't. Never experienced an effective one. Actually, that's not true. Tiff, Ivy, Chris, Jed, Kelly, Deckpot, Meowy. Missed the end of Twitch. So why are we on YouTube now? I'm just feeling a little low energy, not in like a bad way, Kelly. I was just like, I didn't feel like being on camera. Sometimes, I don't know. I I have some of these days where it's just like, I know it's kind of not ideal to be a Twitch streamer. Just be like, I really don't want to be on fucking camera right now. And it's not that, it's not that I didn't like want to be on camera for any specific reason. I was just tired and I didn't feel like reading and like exploring. Um, So I'm trying to be better with managing those days and just being like, know ahead of time that I'm either going to stream on YouTube or just not stream at all. Um, I still had fun playing Fallout. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I, I didn't. Um, but I was just honestly, I've been kind of craving playing Fall Guys lately anyway, and I figured maybe get we'll just get like the hours up on Fall Guys for right now and we'll see what happens. I mean, on YouTube. So we're only going to do Fallout two days a week now. And we'll do Pokemon and uh, a variety day if I end up streaming. But we're still going to do three day minimum for streams. And then I'm going to use the other day as like a flex day. I'm either going to stream or edit for YouTube. That's the plan. Because I do want to put some emphasis on YouTube. Because I do think if I put emphasis on YouTube, it will go back into Twitch as well. If it If it does grow, people will be interested in my Twitch channel. Because it's very hard to... I could easily... I shouldn't say easily. There's part of me... I'm not even kidding, guys. And this is just me being honest with you. Because it's just kind of like the homies here. Uh, there is part of me that just wants to say, like, fuck it. We're just going to actually speedrun Mario. But I just get, like, so impatient that it's really hard. But... I kind of just want to, like, sit in a category for a while. But I'm also having fun playing variety. So it's like, I keep saying I want to do one thing and then I my mind wants to do like another thing that I just, I genuinely know what to do. And it's, I'm not having a bad time. That's not what I'm saying. So nobody take it. There's nothing negative being said here. It's that my, my, my mind wants like two different things at the same time with streaming. You know what I mean? So it's like really hard to just be like, oh yeah, we're just going to play Mario because I still play it all the time. Or <laughs> we're just going to, we're just going to do variety. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's too uh maybe it's too in depth of a topic at this time. Far Cry seven will star Cillian Murphy. Killian? No, it's Cillian. I don't know, I just said Killian. I knew it wasn't. Interesting. I haven't played Far Cry since Far Cry 3. I might have played a little bit of Far Cry 4, but uh, the last one I played through was Far Cry 3, I'm pretty sure.
Yeah, I know that, Ivy. It's just like, in my head, I can't decide what I truly want to do, which is like tough because there's some days I'm like, yeah, I just want to like really get into like trying to speedrun Mario. Cause at the end of the day, guys, like, I know I am I am good at Mario 64, but to be consistent means you need to play that game all the time. Mario 64 is a really hard game. It just, it is. It's just, it's a very hard game. Never mind just speedrunning it. And uh, I don't know, man. I know, I know there are a lot of people. I don't want anybody to feel like they don't want to watch something, which is like, it kind of sucks because, uh, you know, there's always going to be people that aren't interested in like a specific game that you're playing. But I, I don't know. I just, it's been, it's weird, dude. I'm so used to having like a group of people and I just feel like it's going to be weird. Like feel like alienating people in a community. You know what I mean? Because I, I know, why was that in Spanish? Did anybody see that on the right? That was weird. Anyway. Oh, oh. Ow, what the fuck is that, dude? My balls. Something just pinched me. Why is it in Spanish? Oh, can we vote for the game types now? Dude, I think I just got bit by a bug on my ball. And Eve broke it into the game? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I gotta watch out. Okay, so it's these like other green circle things. Yo, what up, Emma? Emma, I like your little avatar here. Everyone check and make sure you took your meds today. Uh, I don't take meds anymore. Can I, guys, can I say something? Okay. So you guys know about this beef? GBG? Am I the only one left? Oh, shit. Um, you guys know how there's beef between Drake, uh, Kendrick, and then J. Cole just kind of like decided he was going to hide in the corner a little bit. And there's a bunch of people that have been dissing Drake lately. I don't know how close everybody else has been paying attention to like hip hop lately. But this idiot, because nobody was saying his name, nobody included him in what they call the big three, which is like the three best rappers in the game. Kanye was he's so ego driven and he was so pissed off that nobody even mentioned his name because of how washed up this man is. Because of how washed up this man is, he decided to make his own song sampling one of the diss tracks. Diss tracks. Because he's so desperate to be involved and be seen as like this great artist though. And it's like, bro, you haven't had a good album in like almost 10 years. It's so fucking cringe. And I don't usually say that, but it's like, bro, God damn. Why are they including me? Because Kanye. Your shit stinks. You're a psychopath. Meowie, part of me, part of me liked Donda. Uh, I liked, like, I really liked the production on it, but then I also couldn't, I genuinely couldn't look past anymore. Just what a significant, I should say, hold on. Human pile, a gigantic hum, like human pile of garbage he is. And I just, I, I can't, I can't listen to him the same anymore. I really can't. And I don't usually get like that with like a lot of people. Like I do try to give 
I don't know all the story of like everything, but I've seen enough from this guy to be like, this guy is a, he's just a genuine piece of garbage. And I'm good. I'm all set. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna support that. I will say he was for a while, Terra, but the music game passed him by and now he's trying to bite other people's stuff. And it's like, you're desperately grasping at straws. I would say from like the mid 2000s to like 2016 or whatever year he dropped the life of Pablo. He he was the guy, which is insane to think about, because in that same run, you had Lil Wayne, Eminem, Jay-Z, Drake was coming up. It's insane to think about, but it really did. Things went through him. All right, it's time to catch a dub. Jed said GBG, so I got to I got to get it done for Jed. I gotta get it done for Jed. Guys, can we get some red angry face emotes in the chat? You guys know what I'm talking about. That's really all I need here. Some of his older stuff isn't bad. He has an, a genuinely elite catalog that if you take his five best albums, I would put them up against any other five artists' best albums, and I think they could compete with them. I do genuinely believe that. However, again, the guy's a humongous piece of human garbage, and I can't stand him. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Oh my god, I wasn't looking for a second. I'm scared. Actually scared. Oh my god, what a sick! Oh! No! Oh, oh, let's go! Dude, I thought I lost! Back to back! <laughs> let's go, dude! Back to back dubs! Uh, from a dub, to, a dub to Twitch, a dub to YouTube! It doesn't matter! Bendy and Nadana. Bendy and Nadana. Meowie, are you a fan of uh, old school video game posters? And I mean, like, I shouldn't say posters, but like the magazines. Like they would come in like Nintendo Power and shit. Mm, 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 mm. Jack Pop, what happened? Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the ones that I got recently. Hold on. I picked up three of these because they're pretty inexpensive on eBay and they're legit. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just picked these up. I'm going to frame these and put them on the, in my stream room. All right, you ready? I think you're going to really like this one. I think you're going to really like this one. If it loads. Na -na 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 I don't know. I don't know how to get it to load. Oh, I found it. Uh, I'll start it, in a, I'll start it in, a, in a minute, guys. I'm just pulling these ads up. Hashtag ad, guys. Anyone else? All right. I think. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Wait, what happened? Oh, there it is. I got it. All right. Oops. So here's one. It's a Luigi's Mansion one. It's an old school GameCube one. I just love that he's inside this cube and looking scared of the blanket. Oh, well, this is the actual 
well, whatever, man. Okay, so this is the the NBA NBA Street Volume Two. NBA Street Volume Two, right there, and then oh, that's that there. All right, so I'm missing. I got a Crash Bandicoot one, but uh, I don't feel like taking any more time to look for that one. So I got that one as well. That that game came out for the GameCube, but I'm pretty hyped with them. They were all like basic. They were mostly that one was like that one was like eight bucks, but the other ones were like five bucks a piece. I just thought they were so cool. I just, I really do. I love the way that the old ads used to look, man. I thought they were so cool and unique. I feel like every ad now is just like, it's a quick montage of like non-game, or like it's non-game footage that's all like PC rendered. Like think of Nintendo and like Mario games. They'll show like Mario running with like Peach behind him. And then he goes, let's -a go. And then they used to have like unique ads like that, which were just like, again, they were just so out of the box. They were just like out of the box. I don't know why Nightbot has, I don't know why Nightbot is timing people out for that. It's weird. All all I had it set to do was post that command every once in a while with the uh, with the Discord link. Mm. I'll have to adjust that at some point. Oh, I bet that is it, Meowie, yeah. Casper, are you with us? Mm-mm. Wait, really? I don't even know how to untime out on here, to be honest with you. Let me see if I can. Is it like a command? Untime out. I don't even know Casper's username. That's the thing. Hold on. I can't look yet. They're in the void. This is. Okay. Like my least favorite level. Oh god, oh god. Oh no, I think I think deck pop fell off. Dab on him. Dab on him, daddy. Dude, I might just, I might just unmod Nightbot. Hold on. Maybe that'll... I don't think it'll untime out, but uh, how do I un? Did I don't know how to unmod anyone? <laughs> Hold on. Yo, thank you to whoever subbed on YouTube. By the way, I just noticed that somebody did that. Thank you. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Boom 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 boom. Oh yeah, Casper should be untimed out now. Apple. Apple. Watermelon. 
Apple. Watermelon. Apple. Watermelon. I bet it's the watermelon. Watch. Okay. Dude. This hooligan. Orange. Orange. Grape. Cherry. Malone. Orange. Orange. Rest in peace, Astro Gaming headsets, dude. Logitech really killed that entire brand. Yeah, it is cute, Deck Pop. What is Astro the mascot of? It's not Discord, is it? Isn't Discord that stupid, like, Snuffleupagus looking thing? Dude, I trolled so many of them. Oh, PlayStation. You're right. They had, like, Astro's Playground. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, yeah, he is cute, Tiff. I just have the setting turned off where people can wave with him. <laughs> Orch. Orch. Oh, apparently Casper's still timed. I untimed. Okay, all right, I can try after this. It says Casper's still timed out. It's so hard to tell on YouTube. Because it's like... YouTube stinks. Or, sorry, the live stream version of YouTube stinks. I have the hiccups. Meowie, what if you time Casper out again and then untime them out? Do you think that would work? I unmodded Nightbot, so they can't... They can't time anybody out anymore. No! God damn it! <laughs> Damn, I was hoping Jed won if I didn't. Damn. Dang, damn, dang, damn. Casper's back. Casper is back. In the arms of the angels. They put me in jail because I said die. Oh, that'll do it on YouTube. That'll do it on YouTube. Guys, what's that one song that goes? All-Star? Yeah, you guys got it. Y'all got it. Dude, I literally, I'm not even kidding. I just mentioned, I just mentioned old video game advertisements. And I went on Twitter for a second and there's a Twitter account that's called Retro Gamer Art. And it's literally just all old posters from video game advertisements. I just like to tweet, it's the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube, and it says, Celebrate Diversity. Hey now, Chris is an all-star. Put your game on, go play. They have you pinned? Yeah, dude, they really do. They know me. To, they have me down to a T. My phone's always listening, man. Always. 
Is that a sushi roll skin that I just saw? Am I crazy? Maybe I was imagining things. I thought I just saw like a California roll running around. Guys, I, I think I'm gonna begrudgingly go and lift tomorrow morning. What do you guys, what do you guys think about that? I'm gonna put my body through immense uh, physical torture to become stronger. Because I haven't lifted in probably six months. I used to really like lifting. I used to be, guys, I used to be pretty strong. You guys never knew me at that point. I was washed up by then. I mean, I wasn't like a linebacker, but... Your boy had some strength. He had some strength. To keep track of weights? Uh, I use Jeffit. J-E-F-I-T. J-E-F-I-T. Not only does it let you track which weights you're using week by week and your it lets you set up a plan and you can also set up your workouts in there too so if you decide you want to switch it up you can have it do with like intervals where it's one week let's say you're doing back and biceps let's say you want to do one week of like doing like dumbbell rows but the other one you want to use a cable you can switch that up so it'll change depending on what when the frequency that you want to do the plan uh there could be a week that you want to do preacher curls um, if you want to do like a good like burnout workout, um, and then there's another week you could be like, okay, well I want to do it heavier, so I'm gonna use like like 40 pound dumbbells, you know what I mean, or whatever. I wish I could still do 40 pound dumbbells. I can, I can't do that shit anymore. Yeah, I really, I really liked Jeffit. I still use mine. Well, when I do go, but I'm going to try to start going like three or four days a week, I guess, instead of just walking and whatever, because I don't feel like running anymore. So I guess, I guess I'll just get my muscle mass back, dude. Fine. It's whatever, dude. I need to stretch more. Stretching's key. I usually stretch two or three times a day. Fuck! Uh, it just helps, like, especially working from home. Like, I'm not up and walking around nearly as much as I used to be. It's like... I would literally be... I would be, like, a rock. I'd be suffering from, like, rigor mortis. Uh, well, I got most of mine through physical therapy and learning through friends, Casper. I highly recommend getting resistance bands for stretching. They help a lot, and they're super low impact on joints. You can do them with legs. You can do them with your arms. You can do literally, like, your upper body, your lower body. You can do everything with them. Just got the funniest clip of you falling from my POV. Dude, I hit the- I hit the corner! I was pissed. I like, wait, I just noticed the chat still says buy Twitchers. <laughs> I forgot it doesn't have the YouTube chat. Oh, well, man, it's going to stay up there.
Let's go. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Come on, Jed, come on, Tech Bob. Oh no, Jed! Jed, what was your percentage? What up, Bev? I'm the bad guy. Tiff, what movie? Oh, by the way, y'all, I forget what the exact date in May is. I think it's May 5th. It's either May 3rd or May 5th. Uh, we'll be watching Godzilla Minus One that week because it comes out on streaming on Amazon Prime. So we'll be watching Godzilla Minus One together in the Discord. Um, I, I do genuinely mean this, guys. This is not just because I'm a Godzilla fan. It is one of the genuine best movies I've ever seen. I was blown away by it. I was I was blown away by it. I really was. I thought it was just going to be another classic. Like, well, I won't spoil anything, but the writing and the casting was unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Dude, why didn't you ask? Get up! I'm determined to be the first one. I don't think I will be, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Okay. No! I might not make it. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go this way. Let's go! Ugh. stronger than me, Brian. I learned a long time ago that the only one who can defeat me is me. If I put myself down first and I... I never go into anything thinking I'm going to do bad because I've already defeated myself because it's then more likely to go poorly. I never want to give up. That's one thing I, I just... I, I don't... Four finals in a row? Yeah, you know. I think... I, I don't know. I think Godzilla could defeat you. Yeah, fucking right, dude. I would come up with the uh, with the Oxygen Destroyer and beat that thing's ass. Trust nobody, not even yourself. Oh, no, I trust myself. I trust myself the most out of anybody that I know. Dude, almost put him in the hole. Dude, leave me alone, man. We're trying to vibe. No, I. You are so brave, Laura. I don't have a big enough channel for anybody to be jumping in here. <laughs> what up, Laura? How are you doing today? No, no, no children are gonna, are gonna jump in a sub 1000 chat channel that has Fall Guys. It's just real. I jumped in the hole myself. Nobody even threw me in there. Guys, can somebody, guys, uh, can somebody explain to me? Can someone explain to me what this meme is of look it in between these keys on the keyboard? Can anybody tell me what is going on? What is what does it mean? It's the, it's the stupidest trend I've ever seen. That's a meme. Yes, 
like ready i'll read this one like there's ready it says there's like there'll be like a picture and it'll say like what's it is say uh what's between q and m on the keyboard and then boo from super mario with a reaction picture between q and m i mean there's a lot i'm so confused like I, I don't i don't get it there's a lot of keys between q and m it's literally it's pissing me off i like i like a lot of internet memes i'm telling you if you go on twitter you'll probably see the memes it's a trick for engagement it means nothing is that literally what it is it's a stupid trend man Stupid meme, stupid meme, stupid meme. Well, now I'm even more mad that I even tweeted about it. What the frick out? to make them open the comments for a click engagement. Wait, there's click engagements? Is That's a thing? Like instead of just reactions? I didn't know that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not clicking on any of them now then. Oy. Guys. Imagine this, okay? Fall guys, but first person. I know a lot of y'all would be sick in the chat, but it's so worth it, man. Your vomit is worth my happiness, you know what I mean? Okay. Tell that to Justin. He wouldn't he wouldn't watch. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a child's game, Brian. Everything's fine, dude. Just gotta, just gotta, you just gotta walk forward. It's literally all you have to do. It's momentum based. It's momentum based. There's physics. There's jumping. It's literally, it's literally your kind of game. You thrive on this shit, dude. Dude, I barely made it. I barely made it. No Man's Sky. I have No Man's Sky. I have barely played it. Who's he talking to? He's talking to the atmosphere, you know? I'll be honest with you guys. I would I would ban half of you, half of you if it really came down to it. You know, like the like the Hunger Games. With the first pick in the Hunger Games draft, Rage O'Brien selects Tiffany J. March. From Atlanta.
I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this way, right? It's gotta be. Oh, okay. That's wild. WILD! I don't like this. Who would be the careers? What does that mean? I've never actually, I've only seen like one of the movies. Is that like the elites? Uh, uh, I mean, Jed for sure gets a pass. Jed's, Jed's for sure safe. Um, Guys, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a Caitlin, Caitlin Clark T-shirt for anybody uh, curious. Am I safe? Yeah. So uh, I need you guys help with getting the Caitlin Clark shirt. Like I'm trying to decide: do I go with a red that is like a white text or a black shirt that is like a yellowish text? I can't decide. I'd have to show you guys, but I don't really feel like it right now. Mm, 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 mm. Ow! Rock'em, sock'em, boppers. Rock'em, sock'em, boppers. Dude, that, goes th that thing goes way faster. What are you wearing it to? Uh, my underwear. Probably just be like a lounging around the house shirt. Oh, you're talking about in person. Uh, yeah, it would just be in the house thing. I mean, maybe if I go to like the grocery store or like a convenience store or something. Black TBH? Yeah, I agree with you. It's more of a, like an everyday thing, you know what I mean? person to press one gets a prize. All right, you're getting banned. Uh. Sing us a song, the Tiffiano man. Jump showdown hoedown? Yo, Jed, good luck, dude. Good luck, Jed. Guys, I've been I think I've been in the finals every round except for the first summon that we played so far. I'm kinda am I back? Did I ever maybe I never lost my touch of fall guys. You not want to hear this congested voice sing anything? Dude, if we're thinking about it, Tiff. Chris Martin from Coldplay made an entire fucking living singing with a congested nose or sounding like he has one. So I think you'll be totally fine, man. And I love Coldplay, dude. They have some bangers. They have some jams, I should say. I wouldn't say they have bangers. And if you disagree, that's fine, man, but just know you're wrong. Just know you're wrong. Uh, I think I'm fucked here. Jed's all by his lone. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was on his own over there. I look. I like Coldplay. Bev told me that you don't. She literally said, "Yeah, I like Tiff, but she doesn't like Coldplay, and she especially doesn't like Viva La Vida." And I'm like, "What the hell?" 
That's one of the that's one of the great songs of the 2000s. It's Viva La Vida. Up. Dude, I wasn't paying attention. Good luck, Jed. That, 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 that part. That part. Yo, Jed! Let's go, dude! That's my king right there. Let's go. That's my fucking king right there, man. Guys, I don't want to work tomorrow. Does anyone want to work for me? Would anybody like to work for me? Anybody? You want to work for me tomorrow? We could swap. Yeah, sure. I don't think people would get too upset to have a like a like a non-professional, you know, like wax them or. Take care of their beauty standards or anything like that, you know? I think they'd be okay with it. Yeah, you just stick the wax down, say three, two, one, and then just lift. It. Wait, that's it? And I don't mean that's it, but that's all. That's only how long it takes. It'll. It's only three seconds. Is that true? I thought you just let it sit there. Oh, I don't want to do that. Seems like a. Seems like a lot of stress. If we're gonna be completely honest. I just feel like if I do that, like someone's skin is going to get ripped off. You know what I mean? Because I would I would definitely get distracted and leave it on there for like 15 seconds. And then an entire layer of skin comes off. And I just I don't want to be responsible for that, man. I don't want to be responsible for that. Interesting. I think Chris would be good at that job. I don't know why. I just feel like I just feel like Chris would be like really into it. And he'd be like, "Oh, we got every single one right there." And then he would like count them and be like, "That's a three fur." At what? Waxing people?
Chris is good at, uh, good at everything. Uh oh. Canyon Sunday? Uh, oh, I didn't even get to vote. I would have voted no. I'm kind of over that level. It's satisfying when you get a good amount of hair. I would feel bad because I guarantee some of them go like, Eek! like they scream. You know what I mean? Like it's got to hurt sometimes. Like someone's got to have like deep rooted hairs. Uh, it's just not for me, man. I'd get squeamish like pulling a splinter out of somebody. Never mind that. Oh, I found a shortcut. There we go. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe this level ain't half bad. Still looks like Jeffrey the Giraffe made this level. Mainly just men scream. Is it because of the amount of hair they have? Or is it just because they're sniveling children? Baby back bitches. So you wouldn't wax a homie? Absolutely not, man. they don't know what to expect yeah that's fair in my opinion i mean this has never happened to me if i had to guess it would just feel like like a slight burning like feeling you know what i mean now something that i have tried because for some reason i was like i don't want body hair when i was younger i did nair like my entire body except for the obvious parts and let me tell you guys that was a humongous fucking mistake and I didn't know any better. And I ordered it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it, man. And I did it. My whole body was on fire. Or so it felt like. Yeah. Luckily, it didn't go in the in the in the Uri. If you know what I mean. I won't, uh, I won't finish the rest of the word, but I didn't use it down there. That's why. Not the naked seal. Sorry, I'm locked in. I just realized I haven't spoke for like <laughs> at least a minute. I was looking to see where these people were. <laughs> there we go. It was such a good minute. Yeah, I bet. Guys, I have a really nice voice, okay? I know I do. Oh, it's finals time. It's finals time.
Cause it's a goddamn arms race. This ain't a scene. I'm gonna get ice cream with Brother March. Anyone want anything? Dude, I would love some cookie dough ice cream right now. We just mentioned looks different here. I don't know why it has that as the uh whatever the fuck it's called on tw on Discord. Because when you look at the live section, it's literally that person falling down the stairs at that one award show. I would love cookie dough ice cream. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go all out and say moose tracks. Y'all ever had the Ben and Jerry's moose tracks? God damn. I think I have some B&Js in the freezer. Dude, I was I was driving through Vermont on the way home from Montreal and on the way the other day. And maybe it wasn't, maybe it's not Moose Tracks. Maybe that's not the one I'm thinking of. I think it is though. I can't remember. But they also have like little brownie bits in it too. And it was good. Uh, but I wanted Ben and Jerry's so bad and I'm like, I'm not going to put myself through having Ben and Jerry's ice cream with like still a two hour drive to go. You know what I don't understand? that people like, and it's like, again, everybody can like their own. Cherry Garcia. Like, no, I don't want it. I have no interest. Zero, zilch, nada, 86 it. Get rid of it. I feel like Cherry Garcia was made for the stoners in like the 80s and the 90s, but it's everywhere. It's like the staple, isn't it like the best selling one? I think Cherry Garcia is like the best selling Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yes, it's Cherry Garcia. Oh no, I know, I know it is, Ice. Ice, I'm gonna be Ice, I'm gonna be so real now. Okay. My name is Rage or Brian after Kid Cuddy. Kid Cudi made music for stoners. <laughs> if, if anyone doesn't know how close to the sun they're flying from where we were at, I know Ben and Jerry. I know what Ben and Jerry's is for. Honestly, I think my favorite one, though, I know Moose Tracks is obviously phenomenal. There's one that there's like there's a brownie core in the middle of it. And there's like bits of cookie dough on the outside. Oh, now that one's good. How's everyone's 420 for that for those partaking? I am not partaking and I genuinely haven't in years, but honestly, it's been a pretty good day. Guys, I think I'm about to do a Ben and Jerry's tier list after this. What are, what are our thoughts? I think I might do it. Although, they probably have flavors that I haven't had before. Oh. oh. I'm dying. Help. 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 Guys, I had to send a little bit of a snarky email earlier, and I kind of felt bad about doing it. So somebody sent me a game key for free, and they're like, we would love to give this to you to check out, provide feedback, which I fully planned on doing. But they emailed me yesterday and they said, hello there, how are you doing? I'm reaching out to remind you that the game was released at the end of the embargo. So you're free to create content for such and such. Did you get to play? Do you have any plans to present to your community? Any feedback is always welcome. We wish you a great week. So I said, hey, thank you for reaching out. I'm gonna be diving into the game to try it for myself this weekend don't currently have any plans to present to my community. I don't typically do marketing for games unless it's sponsored, but I definitely mention it in my Discord if I do end up liking it. Why aren't you playing? No, that's fair. Yo, Jen and Deckpop, thank you both for playing. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm about fall guys out, but I'm about to do a, uh, what is it called? A little tier list thing here, because why not, you know? Ben and Jerry's your list oh they got a lot in here I don't know if you guys want to look at this do you guys want to see this thanks for the games I got you bro I got you bruh 
So these are already... Oh, I'm confused. Hold on. These are already filled in. What happened? Remix this list? Is that what I have to do? How do I... How do I reset this? Oh, reset. There we go. All right. Dude, this is, this is a long-ass list, man. I have a question for you. What's up, Lely? <laughs> Hold on, let me hide the chat here. Zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see just a little bit better on what these flavors are. Is there any YouTube video you follow for the whole Fallout 4 plus Vortex setup? Lily, honestly, no. I downloaded Vortex. I uh, downloaded the mods from the Vortex website, and it automatically installed them for me. So I actually, I did it all through stream. Like, I did it within, like, a 10-minute period on stream, and then I was done with it. All right. This is the official Rager Brian Ben & Jerry's ice cream tier list. Okay. Why? I'm a New Englander. I've had plenty of Ben and Jerry's. And I'm an ice cream connoisseur, if you will. I'm um, not really, but I do like ice cream and I do like Ben and Jerry's. However, today. Americone Dream, which is, uh, I can't remember this guy's name. Stephen Colbert. There we go. Stephen Colbert. I've had this. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal, man. It really is. It's really good. However, if you know my tier lists, you know S and A are the best of the best of the best, sir. Okay? Marco and Dream gets a B. It's really good. Really fucking good. But I don't think it's top five in here. I don't think it's top five, man. B's, it's a high B, low A. It's really good. I've never had banana split. If you get a banana, uh, I'm not going to judge. Never mind. It's two us. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Boom Chocolata. I have had this. This is one of my favorite ones, man. It's really good. It's literally a cookie core, which I think it's... It's really good. It's like a cookie. It's like a softer version. The brownie batter core tends to be a little bit harder. This is, this is softer. So it's like cookie bites mixed in with the cookie core that's in there with some ice cream right around it. I think it's a mix of chocolate and vanilla, if I'm not mistaken. It's an A tier. It's an A tier. I almost considered, genuinely almost considered putting it in S. I was really close. I was really close to doing it. But I see some on here that are more deserving. Brewed to matter. I have not had this. I don't know what this is. I wish I could see like more of what the ingredients were. Can I be dead ass honest? Lely proceed. Brownie batter core. I mean, that's another A. No, you know what? That's our first S. That's my favorite one. I like both of these, but the brownie batter one. This one slaps, man. It's so goddamn good. I was going to say A and put it ahead of Boom Chocolata. The brownie batter core in any scenario. If you're out and about, if you're at home, if you're watching a movie, you know what's the nice thing about the brownie batter core? Now listen, I know whether you it, whether you have dairy, you have the non-dairy version. I don't know if this one has it. Okay. The thing about it is we can all smash one of these pints 1000% within the length of a movie. We can. 1000%. This will last you through the whole movie. Because of how much harder the brownie batter core is, you got to work your way to it. And you have to work your way to the best things in life sometimes, folks. You just have to. Caramel, caramel, almond brittle. Non-dairy. I've not had the non-dairy version of this. Is, a, is there a normal dairy version? You know what? Let me go through. I'm going to put the ones... I'm going to put the ones that I haven't had in the never had first. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I mean, we got Cherry Garcia. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in F. I'm just going to throw it in there. There's a lot of flavors, so there's a lot that I haven't had. Ah, uh, that can... Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Chunky Monkey. Oh, that one's good. Non-dairy. I'm just going to get all the non-dairy out of here because usually I, I will have non-dairy stuff sometimes. Uh, but if I'm going to have something that has the option to just be dairy, then I'm going to do it because I don't typically have an issue with it. Aren't these two just the same? They don't have nothing. There's no difference between these two. Cookies and cream cheesecake core. They're exactly the same. This song makes me sad. Hold on, guys. I'm going to blast it really quick. Well, my wild world heathens prepare for emotion. the emotion let it let it go through you guys mm -mm. i'm sobbing i know man it really that song actually really does make me cry it, it, it makes me sad i'm gonna throw one of these in here because that way th then there's only one i came back and see no falling men uh, i fall on a daily basis man i fall further and further from grace oh i'm sorry man this is immediate. This is immediate S. I don't even have to put the rest in here. Half baked is an S tier. It just is. It it is. Look, dude, you can just look at it, man. This is if you are high and you have a trip to the convenience store, this is the one you grab. It's this one because it's just enough where there isn't too much debris of other flavors in the pint in the pint. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Mint chocolate cookie, F tier. Ch mint sucks. Mint sucks. And so is this one, F tier. Haven't even had this one. That one's going to F tier. It just is. It just is, man. I don't, I don't have to tell you. Peanut butter. Peanut butter cookie core. Wait, peanut butter fudge core? Oh, I've not had that one, but that sounds fire. That sounds fire. L take. All right, sorry, dude. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The Tonight Dough? Dude, what's, do all these talk show hosts just have, I mean, vanilla? You're going, hold on. You're going to Ben and Jerry's? No, listen, everybody can have their own choice at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You're gonna get fucking vanilla. If you have the option for Ben, you're gonna get fucking vanilla. Are you serious? F. Vanilla, vanilla in, in and of itself is not bad, but I'm sorry, it's just a bad decision. It's just a bad decision. It just is. Pistachio, pistachio. This looks terrible. Do people actually eat pistachio ice cream with pistachios in it? All right, I've had the rest of these. I've had the rest of these at some point. All right. Chocolate chip cookie dough. It's a staple. It's a wonderful ice cream. It is. It's good. It's not too much flavor. It's good ice cream with a little bit of, I like to call it debris, even though it's not bad. It's not a negative term. But it's a C tier. It is. There's nothing wrong. You, you got to have some cookie dough bites every once in a while. This has for sure plenty of it. But there's just... It's not, it's not, the, it's not on the same level as these other ones up here. It's just not. It's good. Chocolate fudge brownie. What up, Juliet? Chocolate fudge brownie. I've had this one, man. And it's just, it'll, it'll never be brownie batter core. It'll never be boom chocolata. It'll never be half baked. It's going in D. If you don't like mint ice cream, wait, whoever says mint ice cream. Oh, it definitely doesn't taste like toothpaste. It just doesn't do a lot for me. Chocolate shake it truffles. Phenomenal stuff that we have here. Phenomenal stuff. It's not as good as American Americone dream, but it's right next to it. I would say it's right next to it. 
I'd say I'd say they're I'd say they're pretty equal. They both have a good amount of flavor that's not overwhelming. Chocolate therapy. This is some good stuff. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I do enjoy myself some chocolate ice cream every once in a while. Which is weird because I usually like a vanilla base for chocolate, but it's good. It's not as good as Boom Chocolata, but I think it I think it belongs up here. I think this is totally fine. Uh, I have the ones that are not in in the never had section, Juliet. Yes, I have. In my life, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chubby hubby. It's a D tier. That's a D tier ice cream. It's not. It's just. It's too much. There's like crunchiness. That's every once in a while. Like everything's f like frozen. But you know when it sits there a little bit, and it melts just a little bit. Are there Ben and Jerry storefronts? I believe there's. I think there's a few. Yes. Yeah. I I have mostly been to the ones like there's one there's one big one in Vermont. Um, and I think there's one in New York, like in upstate New York. But the one in Vermont is like the main one where it originated. Chunky monkey. Wait, did I just do oh, that was chubby hubby. We have at least one in Atlanta. I think there's a lot in the malls up here, too. Chunky Monkey is good. I'm going to put it in C, though. I think it is ahead of the chocolate chip cookie dough. I think it's just ahead of this. It's good. I don't think it's as good as these, though. Cookie and cheesecake core. It's going behind these. It's just I'm not a cheesecake guy. I'm not I'm not really a cheesecake guy, so it takes a little bit away from me, but I can respect the flavor. I can respect the flavor a little bit. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm right. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Everything but the... Oh, you know what? I haven't had that. I haven't had this either. There's a lot that I have not had. Milk and cookies. This one's phenomenal. It's really good. And I like that it's more of a vanilla base than anything. But... Yeah, I think that feels right. I think that feels right. Can you feel sugar on your teeth after this? No. Also, I haven't had Ben and Jerry's in years, but uh, when I did used to smoke, I haven't had this either. Or this. Or this. Uh, or that. Or that. New York super fun. I have not had that either. Peanut butter cookies, non Derek. No. Peanut butter, peanut butter cookie core. Peanut butter. Now, I'm a sucker for peanut butter cookies. I think they're phenomenal. I'm putting it ahead of Americone. Dude, there's something about a peanut butter cookie, like a warm peanut butter cookie with like vanilla ice cream. That's just phenomenal, man. A little bit of whipped cream, just a little bit, like on the cookie. It's really good. Peanut butter cup, good. It's good, but it's not what we're looking for with Ben and Jerry's, man. Ben and Jerry's is there for the phenomenal different kinds of flavoring. It's a C tier. Peanut butter world, now we're talking. That's another B here. I'm gonna put it ahead of milk and cookies. I think Americone Dream is still probably better though. No, it's gotta go ahead. Dude, you got, it's chocolate and peanut butter, man. It's chocolate and peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut butter. Fish food. Now, if you guys don't know, this ice cream is literally named after the stoner band Fish. And it's good. It's really good. I put it like right here. It's a high B. It's a high B. Salted caramel almond. I mean the band that is the name? Yeah, but you know, sometimes people don't correlate things. Like some people don't know that you're named after like the, uh, what's what's the, the you know, like the ice monster from World of Warcraft. You know what I mean? Like some people don't know that. S'mores? S'mores are always good, uh, but they're behind. Uh, I'd probably put them here. They're still behind Chunky Monkey, but I'd still put them in like a C tier. Wait, he is? Oh yeah. The Tonight Doe. 
what is this flavor? I actually haven't had this one, so I technically can't judge this. It just looks like... He's got a... Jimmy Fallon's got a cone in his hand. It's so good, is it? Truffle kerfuffle? Oh, I've had this. This is kind of like... This is kind of like Moose Tracks. The truffle kerf... It's... This is a lot like Moose Tracks. It's really good. I'm gonna put it in that... I'm gonna put it the highest C tier. Urban Bourbon. If you guys haven't had this, please, for the love of God, try it. It's really... It's really good. It's not as good as Boom Chocolata. But Urban Bourbon's really good. I've only had this once. And it was like a small scoop. Did you really, Chris? That's fire. And then Vanilla Caramel Fudge. Again, it's one of those basic flavors that, like, I feel like every company sells. It's nothing... It's not the normal Ben & Jerry, like, special, you know what I mean? I'm actually going to reverse the peanut butter cup and cookie dough, because I feel like peanut butter cup deserves to be a little bit ahead. Excuse me. But that's our tier list, man. Our two S tier. We've got Ben and Jerry's brownie batter core and the half baked. We have Boom Chocolata, Urban Bourbon and Chocolate Therapy for t for the A, a tier. We have peanut butter cookie core. I mean, I don't have to read all of these. That's a damn good tier list, guys. I'm going to be the one to say it. And you know what? It's pretty consistent throughout. If you look at like the again, this is just my tier list. This is just strictly for me. Honestly, I'm throwing Cherry Garcia down at the end here. Actually, I'll put it ahead of vanilla just because vanilla. It's just so boring, man. But I think this is a good tier list. I do. Anyway, that's it for stream, guys. I'm going to go get ready for the Bruins game. It's a big Bruins game. It's game one versus the Maple Leafs. I'm really excited. And cherries, I won't lie. I think I low-key would too, but I think I did it out of respect. It was like a, it was like a respect thing, you know? I don't know. Uh. Ooh. All right. Guys, new YouTube video tomorrow. So subscribe if you guys aren't subbed. It'll be, uh, it's kind of like a, I'm going to be starting like a little bit of a let's play thing. Just while I'm streaming with, I, I have all those videos. I might as well try to do something with it. I cut it down from four hours to about two and a half. I know it's lengthy, uh, but I really think it's like a nice, I, I tried to design it as like a nice, like work lurk video. That's kind of my, that's kind of my, or like a, like a fall asleep to and like, you're like a comforting, like you're playing a game and you want to like, I don't know, just like a very chill stream. Uh, it was a pretty chill stream overall. Like there was no like craziness or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream and I will, uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys sometime this week. A girthy video. It is a girthy video. But yeah, thank you guys for chilling with me. Uh, it's Ginger Ninja's three year stream anniversary. If you feel like going saying, going to say congratulations to him and JC Nolan, I believe. Also just went live. Let me double check on that. But those are the two that I would send you to. Yeah, it's going to be though. I think those two are still live. That's what I would say. No pressure to. But uh, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good rest of your night. And don't get arrested.